पीपल दिस इज सोनाली द मेलो ड्रोमेटिक बुक वर्म इफ यू बिन हियर बिफोर वेलकम बैक एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल देन वेलकम टू दिन मेलो ड्रोमेटिक बुक वर्म फैमिली I make book related videos on this channel and occasionally a few travel related and a few movie related videos as well. So if you like my content then please do hit subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can stay updated with my content. Today is the 16th of August and I am going to start reading the book that you picked for me to read and review as part of the subscriber pick series that I will be doing every month on my channel. so to set a bit of a context i decided to do this series and i asked you if it was a good idea you said yes so after that what i did was i gave you four options and asked you to choose one book from those four options both on youtube as well as on instagram and there was a resounding you know answer there was a clear winner this time there were four options that i gave you one was make time by uh, jake nap and john zaratsky The second one was "We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves" by Karen Joy Fowler, and then there was uh, "The History of Love" by Nicole Krause, and the last one was "Siddhartha" by Herman Hesse, and "Siddhartha" won hands down. So I will be starting this book. I will be starting to read this book. So what I will do is that I will do a reading vlog kind of a video, and at the end of that video. I will do the book review. So I asked you guys what kind of a video you would like to see and I gave you three options. One was that I do a proper book review like I usually do like just talking about the book and then the second was that a vlog style review uh with the vlog and then with the book review at the end and then the third was that Uh, a vlog and a review in two separate videos so you chose the second option a vlog and a book review so what i'll do is that i will do a reading vlog and then do the book review at the end of this video so yes i'm going to start reading this book today it's about this edition has wait it has 223 pages uh, but it's going to be a deep one i know this book is going to be a deep one so i uh, I'm going to take a while, maybe a few days to read this one. I'll read little at a time and whenever I'm reading, I'll let you know, I'll check in and I'll keep giving you updates as they do in a reading vlog. Hmm. Like why am I like this? it's close to 10 in the night of the 16th of august and i know i said in the afternoon that i will be uh, starting to read this book but that did not happen so i'm going to start reading it now it looks to be easy to read at least font wise so let's see how this one goes about 11:05 of the 17th of august and i thought i'd be able to make some headway into siddhartha but i was not able to i was hoping i would be able to finish the book today but uh, given how much of a deep subject it is i'm not sure i will be able to but i will get in an hour or so of reading now and since the font is big and it's even though the subject is deep the language is easy comparatively easy okay i realize i haven't given you any insight in, into what this book is actually about but siddhartha is about a man called siddhartha it's not gautam buddha it's about him going looking for himself and looking to uh, find the truths within himself he first gives up his father's house like he leaves and he goes and uh, joins the samanas and then he goes looking uh, for the truth they find out he and his best friend govinda they go realize that gautam buddha is uh, living somewhere close by and he is the enlightened one obviously 
so this guy and uh, govinda they go together to the ashram you could call it it's not technically an ashram they listen to him talk and uh, govinda is immediately taken in but siddhartha questions what the buddha has to say and the buddha is really impressed by what he's saying but then he has this sort of an enlightenment that happens and he realizes that he has been talking about uh, searching for himself while starting his thoughts and ending his thoughts with the world like he asks questions about the world but he is not centering those thoughts those questions on himself he now has to figure out what he is going to do I think it was a week ago that I checked in and said that I am going to start reading the second part of Siddhartha and all that. But I lied. I haven't been able to get make any progress on this one. I finished reading a couple of books since then, but this one mm -mm. today I want to. I really want to read this, and I want to make some headway into uh, reading this. And I'm going to read for a while before I have to go for dinner. And after dinner also, I will be reading a bit. I'm really intrigued to get started on this again because the last two books that I read were they sort of focused on leaning inwards and looking into yourself and. all like and i really like that concept and since i am in that zone right now i have a feeling this will go even better than what i had expected but i am not going to have any more expectations i say that every single time and then where it where does it go falls flat update it's just past 9 10 on the night of the 24th of august and i i'm on page 112 of this book and i i like how it's going because it's easy to read it flows and the language is easy it talks about spirituality and accepting oneself or ac accepting love and not only romantic love but also love for ourselves love for our of the people around us and to practice patience most of all siddhartha goes to this courtesan called kamala and she insists that she ha he has to you know make some money so that he can be in some finery if he wants to learn the art of making love from her so he goes to this merchant i mean she arranges this he goes to the merchant called kamaswami and uh, he works for him but the thing is that siddhartha is not want to take profits or losses very seriously he he is taking everything with a grain of salt and kamaswami is sort of annoyed with it but siddhartha's thing is that there won't be any point to being becoming angry about such things how can you not react how can you attain that level of peace and calm that you don't react to some what somebody is saying or when something wrong has happened to you maybe i'm not going to read this book because uh, i am not able to absorb the whole contents of this book i'm not able to identify with it so i think it would be a little unfair of, on my part to actually rate this book because of non relatability now i've rambled on for long enough i need to go and have dinner and after dinner i'll read for a bit more Hey people it is 3:07 p.m. on what is today's date ha huh, 25th august 
ट्यूजडे ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑगस्ट एंड आई जस्ट फिनिश फिल्मिंग थ्री वीडियोज एंड आई एम सुपर टायर्ड बट आई वॉन्टेड टू अपडेट यू अ बेट अबाउट वॉट हैज बिन गोइंग ऑन विथ दिस बुक आई आई एम नाउ ऑन पेज वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी द सेक्शन दैट आई रेड येस्ट डे इट टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ सिद्धार्था ही गोज लुकिंग फॉर द आर्ट ऑफ मेकिंग लव ही डजेंट वॉन्ट टू फाइट विद पीपल ही वॉन्ट्स टू डील विद एवरी थिंग पीसफुली बट एज टाइम गोज बाय द ग्रीड and everything it overcomes him the world overcomes him and he falls into a rut from which he is desperately he wants an escape and um i don't know how to what to think about this book i mean maybe i will have a clear idea at the end of it all i need clarity myself so once i finish reading this maybe then i'll get some better idea about what's exactly going on here as well as in my mind so that's the update for now hopefully i'll finish it today uh, i have about 95 pages to go hello folks it's 10:30 in the night of tuesday the 25th of august and i just finished reading siddhartha and i don't know what to think of it because it's so philosophical it uh, forces you to think about the uh, sansara and nirvana and the self and joy and happiness and what is true happiness how do you get true happiness what is the actual meaning of uh, attachment what is the actual meaning of giving up everything i need a day or two to uh, actually sit down and think about what i read before i can uh, actually formulate an opinion about this uh, i need to think and i need to do a bit of a research and i think i should be able to get this uh, vlog cum review over to you by next week hopefully i need to construct a review i need to put my thoughts together and put them in a way that actually makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but yes i'll see you on the other side in the book review section so bye So today is the 31st of August and it, and it's taken me this long to uh do the review for this book because there's so much heaviness there's so much weight to the words that are in here that I took me a while to wrap my head around them I still haven't given this book a rating and I don't intend to either because I don't think I am the target audience for this kind of a book because i am not much into uh, spirituality i am not much into all this self discovery kind of stuff it was a rather heavy read for me that does not mean i do not appreciate what herman hesse has done in this and i feel like that is exactly the reason why i should be talking more about this book it feels like there's so much more to explore that i need to reread this sometime in the future i will try to tell you what this book is all about even though i've already done a little bit of that in the reading vlog that preceded this video this is not the story of gautam buddha it is actually a, the story of a guy named siddhartha who is on a quest to uh, find himself and find peace gautam buddha does make an appearance in this book but he is not the central character siddhartha does not mean gautam buddha so this book starts off with siddhartha wanting to become a samana i think that's how they are it's pronounced that word he wants to become a monk and he tells his father that he wants to go and uh, live the life of a monk his father he gets angry at first but then he accepts his son's choice and uh, so siddhartha sets out on this journey with his friend govinda and they live in the forest according to the rules of the samana and then one day they find that just near where they are gautam buddha is uh, preaching or they he has an ashram of his own so siddhartha and govinda decide to go to that ashram when they reach there and they hear gautam buddha teaching uh, govinda is instantly taken in he is very impressed by what uh, uh, gautam buddha is uh, teaching and he decides to become a follower of gautam buddha but siddhartha does not want to do that he has so many questions he even comes across gautam buddha strolling in the park and he asks him questions he questions gautam buddha's own teachings and buddha being the enlightened one he appreciates uh, siddhartha's line of thought but he cautions him against too much wisdom and turns away and leaves so siddhartha also has some revelations on this uh, 
point and then he decides that he wants to know the art of loving so he goes to a woman called Kamala who is a courtesan and he learns tries to learn the art of loving from her and in that process he becomes a you know merchant's apprentice kind of and he starts using worldly things he's become lazy he's become dissatisfied and he is absolutely not happy so he has to re-evaluate his life's decisions so what decision does he take what does he learn how does he put this knowledge to use how does he turn this knowledge into wisdom this is the entire story and i i must say that the top points that herman hesse has brought up in this book are really fascinating there's no doubt about it he demarcates the line between knowledge and wisdom and how the application of both is really important for you to go through life like you could be completely knowledgeable about a lot of things but wisdom would still elude you so how do you find that wisdom how do you find that peace with yourself and this also tells you that you don't have to become a monk to find peace you could find peace in whatever you do given that you are listening to your own self and you're listening to nature around you and nature is such a hugely important you know part of our lives i don't think we understand how important nature really is in bringing us the sense of peace and the sense of calm see it's not just a heavy questions that this uh, book asks that siddhartha finds out about he also finds out about the simple truths of life like happiness and sorrow and anger and uh, distrust and jealousy and there's so many emotions but he discovers on the course of his journey that these are all emotions that one has to accept in life it's about accepting oneself it's about accepting all the facets of your own self before looking outwards and when siddhartha sets out on one journey and ends up on a completely different journey which is a part of his own bigger one it sort of is a lesson that wherever you are in life you can always look inward and change yourself while accepting all the realities of all your emotions and find eventual peace you will grow wise but the point is how you choose to grow wise because if you expect someone else to do your uh, soul searching and everything for you then that's not going to happen you are your own responsibility first and then someone else's and in this book when uh, siddhartha along with his ferryman friend uh, vasudeva he listens to the river he sits there and listens to the river when i was reading that part i could i could just feel myself transported to that area and i was nodding yes i can hear when really it was not i'm sitting in a city in an apartment in a city and i i can't really hear that but through this book i could actually hear the river calling out i could hear the river laugh i could hear the river sob and basically i could hear it talk and i could hear it tell so many stories so many you know life lessons it was giving out to siddhartha and i was absorbing them without knowing them i know that with time and on uh, introspection on reflection i will understand this book so if you're looking for a book that is an intersection between spirituality and uh, philosophy while not being too difficult to read, then this is a book that you could could uh, pick up it is a very easy language in here it's very easy to read you will fly through it if you are really into this sort of stuff you don't have to think a lot in terms of language of course the content in there is different it will make you think like n number of times if you're looking for a mix of all of these then this is a book that you should definitely definitely pick up and i'm glad that i read this and like i mentioned before i'm not rating this book because i'm not a I'm not that much into spirituality and all and even if I were I do not think I would be capable enough to uh, actually rate this book. What I did not like about this book was the fact that it suddenly, you know, uh, bursts into sermonizing. I mean this is that kind of a book I understand that but uh, you know there's absolutely no context that you see that thing coming. But otherwise it was like I mentioned this is an important book spiritual philosophical combination that will that you will really enjoy reading if you are really into this kind of stuff even if you are not then you could always give this a try and see if this appeals to you because chances are that it will so that was my vlog slash review for siddhartha that you guys picked for the month of august uh, what did you think of this video did you like it did you not like it uh, will you be picking up siddhartha after this review 
um, what do you think of Siddhartha if you've already read it and what other books would you recommend based on Siddhartha or like Siddhartha are there any other spirituality or philosophy related books that you have loved and would highly recommend to anybody let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear from you if you like this video please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.